target of the Mueller probe. With me now is a lawmaker who sits not only on the House Intel Committee, but also the Oversight Committee. A lot of work ahead, certainly. Democratic Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy of Illinois is with us. Thanks for Thank being you. here. Thank Escaping you, the bitter cold to just pretty cold. Right. The here in New York with us. Of Illinois, yes. uh, so the president telling the New York Times he's not a target or a subject. Those were his words of the Mueller probe. Given the position, your position in Congress, the committees you sit on, have you seen any evidence of the contrary? Well, um, as you know, the Justice Department has guidance saying that they cannot indict a sitting president. So in that context, it's not really clear what target means. Or subject. Or subject means. They may not even refer to him in that way because of that guidance. But certainly he's involved in this investigation. We, we know that. On the president's son, new exclusive important CNN reporting this morning from our Pamela Brown that Senate investigators have obtained new information that shows that those phone calls to a blocked number mm -hmm. that Don Jr. made right around the Trump Tower meeting uh, with the Russian uh, in 2016 were not to then candidate Trump. And as you know, a lot of your fellow Democrats have expressed a lot of concern, fear that they were mm -hmm. to the president, that he had knowledge they think possibly of this meeting. Actually, the chair of, of the House Intel Committee that you sit on, Congressman Adam Schiff, has called to subpoena Don Jr. to talk about those conversations. Mm -hmm. He said recently it was one of his first priorities. Knowing what we know now, should it be? Well, I think that uh, uh, Congressman Schiff or Chairman Schiff is correct to want to call Mr. Uh, Don Jr. in. But on but this, on the calls, I mean, now that we know this from Senate Intel documents, right. do you feel at peace knowing that and and or do you feel like you need to further no, we need, question Don Jr. We on those calls? We need more information. We need more information. Uh, a, um, we need more information about what the records were that were produced because it wasn't produced to the House Intel Committee. Okay. And then secondly, we don't know if uh, Don Jr. went down the hallway and talked to his father at Trump Tower. I mean, he might have had meetings mm. contemporaneous mm. to this situation mm. that had nothing to do with phone calls. Uh, you will be questioning Michael Cohen behind closed doors next week. What is the most important thing you'd like to ask him? Well, um, obviously, uh, there's going to be a lot of classified information sh that I'm sure that he'll be uh, sharing with us, and I can't get into that. But your question. But my, con but my questions, general questions to him will be about his interactions uh, with the president. Uh -huh. um, you know, we know that the uh, discussions about the Trump Tower extended far beyond the January time frame that he originally talked about in front of Congress mm -hmm. and for which he was found to lie, um, and he was convicted of lying. Uh, on the oversight side, yes. there's a question as to whether or not the Oversight Committee, which you're also a member of, will uh, have Michael Cohen appear before right. them next week for testimony. S Mark Meadows, Republicans Mark Meadows and, and Jim Jordan are, are so interested in knowing about this that they've sent a letter to the chairman of the committee, Elijah Cummings, asking him, you know, let us know, will you be interviewing Michael Cohen? Can you answer that question? Well, um, in my in my opinion, um, he will appear before the Oversight Committee in some form or fashion, but whether it, it's voluntary or otherwise. Will, next week, I guess, not an opinion, a, a statement of fact. Is it factual that Michael Cohen is planning to appear before your committee next week? I don't know. We, don't know, know. we know that uh, Mr. Cummings and his staff has been working okay. with Mr. Cohen on trying to uh, give him assurances of safety because of certain sure. threats that were made to him. Let me ask you about Overall, because you are on these two key committees with these investigations as they pertain to the president, something struck me in the new ABC Washington Post poll that was out earlier this week. Of Americans, 46 percent think that the Democrats will go too far in investigating the president. Look at those numbers, 46 percent, and then 17 percent not far enough, and then 34 percent about right. Does that concern you? Well, I think that we have to be very careful uh, not to go after somebody, but to basically surface the facts mm. and the truth and let the chips fall, fall where they may. Um, as a former prosecutor in Illinois, I know that you have to investigate before you prosecute, mm -hmm. and that's what we have to do here. Finally, 2020, because, hey, 2020. 640 days out is not too early to have be asking questions. Have you started the countdown questions. calendar? I, I'm surprised we don't have a clock, <laughs> a 640-day clock on the corner there. Cory Booker, Senator Cory Booker of Newark, announcing a run this morning. Who, who do you think so far that is in this has the best shot at beating Donald Trump? Um, I don't know. I think Donald Trump um, looks pretty weak uh, right now based on the latest polls, and pr perhaps a lot of candidates uh, would be able to defeat him from our side. However, I think the key thing is we have to set forth a vision mm -hmm. for what the country's going to look like in 2024, 2028, and beyond. has to be inclusive, has to include all Americans. You know, lifelong Democrat until now, Howard Schultz, former Starbucks CEO, um, 
thinks your party has gone too far left and pr makes promises like Medicare for all that he says are unaffordable for this country. That's why he may run as an independent. Mm -hmm. Do you welcome that? Well, I think that uh, if Mr. Schultz uh, wants to join the debate, uh, he should. Um, I just question, you know, uh, whether doing so as an independent uh, might uh, play into Donald Trump's hands uh, because it would weaken, well, uh, but why? weaken, why do you think weaken candidates otherwise. Why do you think he's going to, he would pull more from Democrats and Republicans? What evidence do you see of that? Um, we don't know for sure. However, um, in my humble opinion, I think that uh, uh, if he is trying to bring a progressive voice to the table as well, um, you know, it could complicate matters for a lot of people who are trying to do the same thing. Um, but more, the more the merrier. We need, uh, we need people uh, bringing their views to the table. It will be a credit.